In the heart of antiquity, a network of trade routes emerged, connecting the distant corners of the ancient world. This was not a simple path but rather a complex and intricate web of routes covering thousands of miles across deserts, mountains and plains. This extensive network, a testament to the tenacity and resourcefulness of its pioneers, was the Silk Road. For centuries the Silk Road functioned as a vital artery, carrying not just commodities but also ideas, technologies and beliefs, reaching from the bustling markets of Beijing to the grand bazaars of Istanbul. Its impact was profound, shaping societies and transforming cultures across Asia, the Middle East and Europe. The Silk Road was the conduit of the exchange of goods, knowledge and innovation, weaving the East and the West into an intricate tapestry of exchange. At its core, the exchange of goods was the most crucial aspect. Luxurious silks from the looms of China, aromatic spices from the fertile plains of India, precious metals and gems from the wealthy mines of Persia were all traded along this route. These treasures captivated the imaginations of civilizations far and wide. They sparked curiosity and fueled the desire for exploration and trade, marking the beginning of globalization. Through the exchange of goods and ideas, the Silk Road played a critical in the development of the world's major civilizations, shaping the course of history. At its peak, the Silk Road was more than a trade route. It was a symbol of cultural exchange and human resilience. But the Silk Road was more than a trade route. It was a conduit of culture and faith. This ancient network of trade routes, stretching from China to the Mediterranean, served as a highway not just for precious commodities, but also for the exchange of revolutionary concepts and philosophies. The Silk Road with its winding paths across deserts, mountains and plains, was a bridge that connected the eastern and western worlds. Caravans laden with goods were not the sole travelers on this road. Along with the traders, scholars, monks and missionaries also traversed these trails, carrying with them a cornucopia of cultural treasures. Ideas, religions, languages, art and music, the Silk Road was their museum, and its travelers were the curators. These shared ideas crossed national boundaries and merged with local cultures, laying the foundation for a rich tapestry of interconnected societies. The bustling bazaars and caravanserais of cities such as Samarkand, Baghdad and Constantinople were melting pots of intellectual discourse. These places were more than mere trading posts, they were spaces where ideas flowed freely and intellect thrived. From the East to Central Asia, from the Mediterranean to China these hubs of dialogue and discovery buzzed with activity. Scholars, philosophers and poets congregated in these centers of learning. Mathematicians calculated the stars, philosophers pondered the meaning of existence, and poets captured the essence of human experience. Yet, the Silk Road was not without its perils. This extensive network of trade routes, stretching from the ancient civilizations of China in the East, to the Roman Empire in the West, was brimming with hazards at every corner. It was not just a physical journey, crossing arid deserts and treacherous mountain ranges, but also a journey fraught with political, economic and social uncertainties. Amidst its bustling markets filled with vibrant silks, exotic spices and precious gems, and its cultural crossroads where travelers exchanged knowledge and ideas as readily as their goods, the Silk Road was a stage for power struggles. The echoing clash of swords was a common sound as rival empires, each eager to seize control of these lucrative trade routes, engaged in fierce battles that stained the sands with blood. Nomadic tribes hardened by the harsh conditions of the desert and mountains, were also a constant threat. These tribes often raided the caravans, plundering their wealth and leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. They were the unpredictable storm, the lurking danger that added a sense of dread to every journey. Despite these challenges, the Silk Road endured, a testament to human resilience and determination. Against all odds, it remained the pulsating vein of trade and cultural exchange, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity that defied limitations and took risks to forge connections and create opportunities. By the dawn of the modern era, the Silk Road had begun to fade into obscurity. As the centuries rolled on, the once bustling trade route which connected East and West, gradually got overshadowed by new, more efficient modes of commerce. The advent of maritime trade was a significant blow to the prestige and relevance of the Silk Road. Seafaring vessels capable of transporting goods in larger quantities and at faster speeds were coming to the fore, outpacing the slow caravans that once traversed the expansive landscapes of the Silk Road. The geopolitical shifts, too, were instrumental in its decline. As power centers moved and new kingdoms emerged, the focus shifted away from this established trade route. 
there was a reshaping of priorities with new routes being forged, leading to a seismic shift in global commerce. However, the spirit of the Silk Road refused to be extinguished completely. It survived, not as a tangible route for trade, but as a symbol of connectivity and cultural exchange. The Silk was not merely a route for commerce, it was a conduit for ideas, philosophies and art, enriching civilizations and promoting a vibrant exchange of knowledge and culture. Its legacy is profound reminding us of the transformative power of trade, the intermingling of cultures, and the enduring bonds that unite humanity. It teaches lessons of resilience, adaptation, and the importance of mutual exchange. In every cobblestone, every caravan tale, every relic found, it echoes its stories of unity, diversity, and the power of human spirit. Discover more about the wonders of the ancient Silk Road and the civilizations it connected.